Okay, I'm back and I got my cukes sliced and I, I kind of butchered them, but I, you know, it's going to be all right. It's going to taste good. That's what's important. Now I've got two boiled eggs. I've got one can of no salt added albacore tuna. Flake it, kind of break it up a little bit. Now this is a Cajun seafood salad. All right. Next, I'm gonna give my shrimp a rough chop before adding them to the bowl with the tuna and the eggs, and then we'll be on to the next step. All right, now I have my shrimp done. They're all chopped. So I'm gonna throw them in the bowl with my tuna. Let me clean my hands off. Okay, and next I'm going to add a little garlic powder. minced onions. I'm going to add these chopped minced onions. The uh, mayo will rehydrate these. They give it a really good flavor though. Put a lot of those in there. Put a little Tony Cacheray's no salt seasoning or a lot. It's spicy so it's up to you up to your discretion. I think that's it for right now. I'm gonna wait until after I taste it. Next, we add a little sweet relish. Well, first I'm gonna add a little mayo. You can use the mayo of your choice. See if that's enough. And don't be afraid, kind of mash it because you kind of you want all of your um, tuna to break apart. I should have done that first, but it's going to be okay. Next, we want to add a heaping tablespoon of sweet relish. You don't have to put relish, or if you like dill relish, you can use dill relish. I'm going to put that in there. And um, I don't remember if I mentioned or not, but I had two boiled eggs in there. So you see, the tuna broke up. Broke apart for us quite nicely. I'm gonna add a little more mayo. Let me taste this and see what's what. All right, let's give her a taste here. Ah, paprika, that's what's missing. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Okay. So we're going to add a little more Tony's. Or a lot more. Hold on, I'll add a little bit of celery seed. Just a little bit. And a little cayenne pepper. Now you can use Old Bay if you want. I'm not using Old Bay, Old Bay because um, there's too much salt in it for me. I think I need a little more mayo. And we should be good. Let's put a little more mayo. All right, let's stir this up and let's give it another taste. There, that's better. Now it's creamy. I don't like it. 
sloppy wet, but I don't like it dry either, like somewhere in between. Again, you can fix yours how you like it. It's gonna be so good. I think one ingredient is missing. And let me taste this and then I'm gonna go grab it. heat in there let's put some more more cayenne pepper in it as you know the full list of ingredients along with the measurements will be in the description box below the video let's put some more garlic in there too I'll be right back guys all right guys I think that this is the kick I'm, I'm looking for so let's shake it up and we're going to put half a tablespoon. Let's add that first and taste it before I add any more. I may add another a half tablespoon more, but we'll see. I'm going to mix that up and I'll be right back. If I have forgotten to, I would like to say welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And as always, it's free to subscribe, so touch that subscribe button, comment, like, and share. And um, you're going to want to look at the description box below the video for the full list of ingredients and measurements. I forgot to add mustard to this recipe, so make sure you look in the description box. And um, so sometimes, you know, cooking, cooking and filming, you can kind of forget to add something. But welcome again. And so now I'm going to stuff my um, boiled eggs with my Cajun seafood salad. And I'm going to take those nice plump shrimp there and put those on top of there for the plating. And you guys have got to try this recipe. It is light, it is flavorful, and it is perfect for your summer get-togethers. Or even if you just want to eat, have something light prepared if you're, you know, eating on the run or if you're in a hurry. I like to have, uh, make a batch of these and just grab them and have them with salad or even for breakfast or if you want to have a brunch. But anyhow, that is, this is the recipe to my Cajun seafood salad. Let me know if you tried this recipe. It is a winner, winner chicken dinner and boom, there you go. I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye.